Hello and welcome to another Live 2D tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to make more expressive animal ears in Live 2D. And I'm also going to pull up VTube Studio and PRPR Live to show you a few tips on how to make the movement looking extra crispy smooth. So basically the effect that we're going to want to try and get is on this particular model that I'm using right now, when I raise my eyebrows, I have an alert ears, or when I lower my eyebrows, my ears are all sad. And first you're going to want to make sure that your ears are separated into left and right. It's a lot easier to have them with each individual one so that you can attach them to each eyebrow later on. So what we're going to do is you're going to want to select all of one ear first, so the left ear. I already have them all in this uh, <laughs> big parameter chain, but you just want to make sure that all of the individual meshes are selected. So let's pop that back up. What we're going to want to do is create a new rotation deformer. So select this one here. And it's pretty simple, we can just leave it as ear left rotation here. That basically explains what we want to do. And then we're going to press create. And then it's going to come up with this rotation deformer here. We can see how that's going to work. Now I don't really like it where it is right now. Because as you can see, when I tilt it, it doesn't look that natural. So I'm going to move it to where I want it to be by holding down control, left clicking and dragging it. You'll see this blue is where you're, it's going to get placed when you let go of left mouse click. And basically I want to put it where the ear socket should be on this character, so it's going to be about here. You can always test it to see how it looks. So this would be alert and then sad. That's about right for this one. And then you're going to want to do the same with the other side as well. So we have two rotation deformers set up for our ears here. Next we're going to want to make a special parameter for each of them. So you want to go down here, new parameter. And it'll pop up with this little window here. Now this is very important, you want to name them. Not just the name, the ID is very important later on. <laughs> so we're going to call this one ear left rotation. And my ID will be ear L R just so I know what it is. And now you'll see like there's these ranges here. Minus 30 to 30. So I won't go into depth about these, but they basically affect the speed of your movement, basically. So how long it will take from zero to the maximum range of movement. So it will take a lot longer for it to reach 30 compared to 10, for example. But we'll leave it like that because it should come out fine with this. Okay. And you're going to want to do the same with the other ear as well. So, ear right. And then the ID for this one could be ear RR, ear right rotation. So by this point we should have both deformers and both parameters set up. Next we're going to want to make them move. So obviously we'll click the ear left rotation that we made. And then we're going to want to select our ear left rotation parameter as well. And you want to click this button here with the three green dots to make three keyforms. 
Next, we're going to want to drag this dot all the way up to 30. So this will be our alert is. So we're going to want to see what kind of angle we can put this at. Obviously this would vary on the character. I think about 10. You could also put it into this box here. If you're picky like me and like even numbers. <laughs> so minus 10. Let's see how that looks. Looks okay. And you'll want to do the same for the down ears. So drag this down to minus 30. And then we'll have a look what we want for this one. I like her to look really sad, so we'll say 15 on that one. And then do the same for the ear right. So, he forms. And then it's basically going to be the same, but with opposites. So, this would be angle. 10 for alert and then at minus 30 it will be minus 15 for the angle there we go right and now we can export her and pull up some of our tracking programs all right so here we are in vtube studio to start off with so you may notice that my ears are not doing anything at all just the basic movements that I've set up for the head movement. So there's actually an extra step that we have to do with the new parameters that we just created. So you're going to want to press this gear icon and then a menu will pop up. You want to make sure that you click this middle icon, looks like a little person with a cog. And then this menu will come up. What we're going to want to do is go all the way to the bottom and then press this plus here. And this is basically setting up a new parameter input. So what we're going to want to do is name this ear left and then for our input we're going to want to scroll all the way down And then we'll see here, brow left Y. Note this only works on iOS and webcam, so if you're using an Android device, this won't work, unfortunately, on VTube. So select that. So next we're going to want to select the output button here. And I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, because that's where it was on my list. This is where naming your parameters are important, because they'll be a lot easier to find on this list. As we can see here, we have ear left R and ear RR that we named earlier. So we're going to want to select the one for the left. So you'll see it's starting to do something. But it doesn't look that smooth yet. What we're going to want to do is turn up the smoothing a bit. I think I usually have it around 60 just so the movement is a little bit more smooth that's the point in smoothing actually <laughs> funnily enough and obviously you can link this with extra physics which I have done on my actual model which can just add a little bit extra movement flair so let's go ahead and create another one for our right ear. And then let's test this. So, alert. And sad. And you'll see that it kind of reacts to my facial expressions as well, because naturally the eyebrows will move with the face. 
So if I'm making a sad face, they're more likely to go into a sad position. Or if I'm surprised, they're more likely to go up and alert. Okay, so here we are in PRPR life. Um, you may notice my model is a bit stiff in this one, because I haven't um, set it up very well. My models often come with a lot of custom parameters which I need to set up myself, which I might eventually make a tutorial for, possibly. But we're going to look at the ears here. So what we're going to want to do is to go into face capture settings. Also, I'm sorry if I keep looking angry. I promise I'm not. And then advanced configuration. All right, so we've got this menu here. And we're going to want to look at left brow Y and right brow Y. So left brow Y, we've got this menu here. You're going to want to press this plus. And then we're going to change the output to our ear. The left one. And then the same on the right. So new. And then ear right. And you can also change the smoothing on PRPR as well if you're finding it a little bit too quick. Movement isn't smooth enough. Alright, and then eyes up, eyes down. Alright, so you might have noticed that I link my ear movements to my eyebrows. And a lot of people actually link their movement to the eye blinking. So they make it a part of the physics, basically. So every time the eye blinks, the ear would move. I tried this before, but I tend to found that it would quite often glitch the movement, especially if I blink my eyes too quickly. Um, personally, I tend to find it a lot more expressive if you haven't linked your eyebrows. Because I can emote with just my eyebrows. <laughs> now there's one other thing that you might notice. My ears are moving on their own. And this is an idle animation that I set up for it. It sort of fills the gap that the eye closing thing added to a lot of people's models. Now I can show you how to do this in a later tutorial because I'm actually planning on making a animation for beginners and that one will cover idle animations such as my ears and also other animations like the hand waving. Alright, so one other thing that I wanted to cover here. So you don't always have to use a rotation deformer for this ear trick that I have. You can use a standard deformer if it's more suited to your character. So here we have Bowen, the bow. His ears are a little bit different from mine because they're bear ears and I have cat ears. So his movement is going to be a little bit different from mine. What I'm going to do is select his left ear here. I'm going to create a standard deformer this time. We're going to rename this to ear left. There we go. Let's have a look here. So once again, I've made a new parameter here for the ear left. Let's pop some keyforms on there. So how's this going to look for him, I wonder? Well, for the alert, we're going to want to drag this up a bit. Let's try that out. It's a little bit like using a rotation, but a little bit more specific. And then for the sad...
but bear ears don't have a greater range of movement compared to my kitty ears. So we want to try and match that. A good way to look at it is to look at actual animal videos and see sort of how they move in real life. Obviously it doesn't need to match real life, but it's a good idea to have that sort of reference there. This isn't going to look perfect because I'm not spending that long on it. <laughs> but let's have a look. There we go. We're going to test this in VTube for him. So we are back in VTube Studio to test out this ear on the bear here. So we're going to go back to settings make a new parameter I'm gonna name this ear left and brow left y output will be ear left turn up the smoothing a bit let's have a go Obviously this would look a little bit better if I had the right one set up as well. But you get the basic idea. And there we go. That was just a very basic introduction to how I make my animal ears more expressive in Live 2D. <laughs> so obviously I've actually linked physics to the actual ear rotation. I'm planning on making a beginner's physics tutorial, which I will probably cover what I used for this ear rotation, because I do have a little bit of bounce to them, just to make it look a little bit more smooth and natural. But this one was more intended just to get that basic expressive look with your ears. I hope this helped you a lot. If it did, don't forget to like it and maybe share it to someone who might need some help. Maybe. Feel free to subscribe to our channel as well. Um, we're looking to make more tutorials like this one. As I said, the um, physics and animation ones should be done within the next two weeks. Depends on my schedule. And we're also going to be coming out with more gameplay videos which is kind of exciting. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments, or you can contact me on Twitter. My DMs are always open to live 2D help, and I'll be very happy to look at all your projects. And with that, I hope you all have a very lovely day. Bye!